Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to calculate the band structure of graphene. And you, if you are not familiar with the band structure calculation using quantum espresso or you want to know more details, um, I recommend that you can watch my previous video on the band structure calculation of silicon crystal. Um, but today I will just walk you through the steps quite quickly and uh, hope, hopefully that will give you an, an idea how to calculate the band structure of a 2D material. So let's get started. And uh, okay, so just read me. Um, the first step is the variation of cell relaxation to relax the lattice cell. This is more or less uh, a good habit to do uh, before you do any DFT calculation. And the second step is the self-consistency calculation to calculate the wave function. And after that, you can do one non-self-consistency calculation to get the precise Fermi energy. However, we are not going to do it here because the, uh, the output of this self-consistency calculation uh, contains actually, a, 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 let's say, a, an estimation of Fermi energy. And the third step is the uh, calculation of the band structure. So basically you provide the program with a K path and uh, it calculates the energies um, on, on those K points. And then you need to post-process the, uh, the, the result from the last step to, to make it readable and then plot the band using plotband.x. Okay, so the first step is the variation of cell relaxation. Um, Maybe I should first start the, uh, let's say, start the calculation, and then I, I introduce you what what is the input file. Huh? So this is the uh, this is the command for the for the calculation. You you use pw.x, okay? And the input file, I guess you are more or less familiar with it. Uh, this is the VC relax calculation and um, the force convergence threshold, uh, total energy convergence threshold for the um, for the re relaxation, and uh, here we use a uh, Bravais lattice 12, that is a um, uh, monoclinic uh, uh, lattice, and we define um, define A B C and co and cosine A B rather than the cell the cell dimension that uh, one two three that we usually do. Um, so b basically, A B C means the three lattice vectors. So, uh, so it, it means um, and um, in the unit of uh, of Anstrom, not Bohr. Uh, so this is Anstrom. It means that uh, the the A and B lattice vector are uh, two point four six Anstrom, and the C lattice vector is the twenty Anstrom. So it's very large, and the angle between A and B uh, vector is uh, one hundred twenty degrees. So that's why cosine A B. Uh, like cosine the angle is minus 0 0.5 so it basically it defines uh, uh, let's say a 2d lattice with a very large c uh, z spacing and um, and and also here the angle between a and c and the angle between b and c are 90 degrees yeah so this is uh, implicit in the in the uh, definition of i graph equals 12 yeah and and then the uh, we have two atoms per lattice and one type of atom and notice that here it is a ultra soft uh, pseudo potential file that that we use so usually e cut row should be much larger than um, e cut double fc so it should be more or less eight times or even more than 80 times okay so the calculation is done um, and uh, and now we use 10 times because we want to get a more precise uh, uh, let's say result and then we need a smearing argument here because graphene is more or less a metal and um, and in this mixing beta we decrease the, the value from the default value to 0 0.3 uh, to to uh, increase the convergence. So basically, if you have some issue or difficulty with the convergence, you can always try to decrease the mixing beta here. Okay, and then that's the pressure convergence threshold for the cell relaxation, um, which is basically default. And this is also default. And um, this argument means that we only relax the cell in the x, y direction. Yes. 
and yeah and for 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 this calculation we only care about the um, um, xy direction so we need to have a, a lot of k points in the xy direction but on the z direction we don't care about the uh, interaction between the uh, between the graphene layers so we set it to be one yeah and also we we don't want the graphene layers to interact so that's why we set a large uh, z spacing here okay so so it, uh, the calculation is done and uh, let's see what is the second uh, the the input file of the self consistency calculation so this time we do it a little bit differently uh, so previously we uh, let, let's say this is the output file of the variational cell calculation let's find the uh, uh, find the, the final coordinates here so last uh, like previously we usually compare the cell parameters here and um, and the cell parameters from the beginning and uh, divide it and and get a uh, get a change of the of the uh, lattice uh, constants but here we we do it in another way we just copy the whole thing from here to here and and then change the bravais lattice to be zero so basically this this means that it, it is a arbitrary um, bravais lattice that is defined by this cell parameters here so if you set bravais lattice to be zero you need uh, to have this uh, name card here yeah and then also you need to uh, specify a cell dim one so that is the reference and uh, you need to write a lot here so so basically this is the relaxed structure it is just written in, in another way okay and uh, i guess more or less the other things are the same we just run the calculation okay let's put it uh, to the center okay yeah so this is more or less the same uh, the the usual calculation using pw.x and okay so in the meantime we can take a look at the uh, input file for the third step that is here yeah okay so the self-consistency calculation is done and for the third step uh, yeah I already copied the um, cell parameters here, so it's, the, it's consistent with the the, uh, the last step. So let's uh, let's first uh, do the third step, and then I explain you what is the input file. So this is the third step, and um, and the input file is more or less the same as the self consistent calculation. It's just that we change the calculation to band calculation, and then we change the k points to. Uh, uh, to custom uh, custom designed k path so we will go from gamma to k to m to gamma and um, as you may remember for graphene uh, the Dirac point is actually the k point here and remember that you need to specify everything in the crystal coordinate um, otherwise you cannot uh, write this uh, nice 1 over 3 and 2 over 3 uh, values here yeah and uh yes so and basically it, it means that from gamma to k it calculates 30 points k to uh, m calculates 30 points and m to gamma calculates 30 points and the last uh, number is um, doesn't have any meaning okay so this is finished and then we need to run the bands.x to uh, do the post processing and um, that's also quite simple the input file the um, the output directory and the prefix should be consistent with uh, before and this is the output file that is uh, called graphene.bands.dat yeah which contains the information of the um, of the band structure okay yeah so during uh, during this uh, calculation, I can show you the input file of the fifth step. That is um, that is basically this thing. Um, this is the output file of the last step, which contains the information of the band structure, and this is the energy uh, um, like the the energy window that we want to plot. To get this, um, you can go to the uh, output file of the self-consistency calculation. 
let's say okay let's say here and then you scroll down and you see a lot of k points here and um, and those are the like energy of the different bands of each k point and it ranges from minus 22 to 2 and if you scroll down you can find maybe 10 minus 22 to 10 let's say minus 25 to 12 to uh, to basically have everything inside and those are the two output files of different uh, format and um, and then you need the Fermi energy here so to get a Fermi energy here you can also see in the output file here there is a Fermi energy you just copy it here and uh, here let's say 5 so this is the um, basically this is the energy spacing of the of the labels and this is the this defines the zero point of the energy okay so yeah so everything is done and uh, we need to run the fifth step still and remember that for the fifth step you cannot use mpi run and also you cannot use uh, this minus imp but you need to use this uh, lesser sign and great, greater sign okay so everything is finished and let's check what is the output and uh, this dot ps file this is the output and let's rotate it okay yeah so this is the final result let's uh, take a screenshot and copy it to the to the um, excel to compare it with the uh, reference Okay, yeah. So you see that uh, we follow the same k path from uh, as in the reference from gamma to k to m to gamma, and uh, you see that at k point there is indeed a Dirac point um, where the Fermi energy is just at the Dirac point. So th so this is uh, basically the same as the reference. So in today's uh, tutorial, I've shown you how to calculate the band structure of graphene. And um, I hope that you learned something. If you if you like my video, I appreciate your like or subs uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, I hope to see you next time.